Tanzanians are lining up to register their mobile phone SIM cards before a January 20 deadline when authorities say all unregistered cars will be blocked. The registrations are needed, say authorities, to crack down on fast rising cybercrime, which jumped by 82% in Tanzania in 2017. Gifty Swai was a victim of cybercrime. She was defrauded of 1,300 US dollars when she tried to purchase electronics online via her mobile phone. After sending the money, his number was never reachable. I think biometric SIM card registration will help a lot. If the system was there when I'd lost the money, I think it would have been easier to catch him. The biometric registration will link SIM cards to identification cards or foreign passports and fingerprints. Tanzania's Communication Regulatory Authority says the registration will reduce cybercrime such as mobile payment fraud. Nowadays, phones are like banks. Sometimes you might mistakenly send money to various places. Because the details of the one who received the money will be known, it will be easier for your money to be returned. Returned. The strict cut-off deadline was imposed to force millions of Tanzanian mobile phone users who were slow or had missed the earlier deadlines to register. Tanzania's communication authorities say as of January 5, just over half of the country's 44 million SIM cards had been registered. Some Tanzanians worry their phones may be effectively switched off before they can register. The time is not enough. Many Tanzanians still don't have national identification cards. Tanzania's opposition lawmakers say cutting off unregistered mobile phones will be another hurdle to campaigning ahead of October elections. If a member of parliament in the area wants to communicate with the public, asking for a vote or to share information on development, that means if 15,000 phones will be turned off, 15,000 people will be out of the system, so you'll fail to communicate with them. To avoid any such problems, Tanzanian authorities are urging everyone with a SIM card to register by the deadline. Charles Combe for VOA News, Dar es Salaam.